How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to set up your Android phone with a brother printer. So you can print documents off of your phone because your phone's essentially a computer. Worksheets for homework assignments, PowerPoints for school, any type of documents that you need to print if you wanna do it mobily, this is the video for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do. First thing you're gonna do is make sure that your printer is connected to Wi-Fi. I have some videos connecting these printers to Wi-Fi that I will link in the description as well as in the corner. If your printer is not already on a wireless network, make sure you do that before continuing. Once your printer is on your Wi-Fi network, we need to download an app, so I'll show you guys that on the phone. Printer's on, printer's already connected to Wi-Fi, then you're gonna take your Android phone, you're gonna make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer, either the 2.4 gigahertz band or the five gigahertz band, either or should work fine. And I am on my home network, eight foot ceilings, 5G. The printer, however, is connected eight foot ceilings, 2.4 gigahertz, but it should still work perfectly fine. Then you're gonna go to Google Play Store. You're gonna type in Brother Printer Plugin you're going to download this Brother Printer plugin. The app looks like this. 10 million plus downloads, 3.6 star reviews. It says you can print from Brother Printers using built-in Android menu apps. Basically, it's the instructions to allow your phone to print to this printer. We're going to install it. I guess it's kind of like a driver. Once that plugin is downloaded and installed, it doesn't give you an option to open anything. It's literally just, it's instructions that run in the background that allow you to print from with a ton of printers, probably hundreds if not thousands of models, and it's gonna work with all Android devices. It's not at all device specific. After that, you're gonna wanna navigate to the document that you're trying to print. So I'm gonna go here into my files. I'm going to browse my documents, and I'm just going to print, I'm gonna print a sample shipping label i'm going to open it up with google pdf and as you can see it's a it's a document uh, it's actually a shipping label i'm going to go three dots up here at the top go to print and then you're going to want to hit this drop down here at the top and you're looking for your printer model and i don't see it popping up automatically so we're going to go to all printers and there it is right here, the HL2280. So you're just gonna match. I have a bunch of printers, so that's why there's so many. Yours probably isn't gonna look like that. You're gonna match the model number to the printer that you're gonna pick. And then it's going to load the document. You have these options if you hit this drop down. However, I'm just gonna be printing one document. I'm sending the file to the printer. It's gonna take some time to go through the router and then it gets picked up by the printer, just kicked on automatically, and it printed a, a giant label. Now I'm gonna go to another document. I'm gonna open it with Google PDF Viewer, and it's a couple of pages. I'm gonna go three dots at the top, print, make sure that my printer is picked again, the HL2280, it's grayed out, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit until, I had to just wait a little bit, it was grayed out, and now it is uh, full color, I can click on it, and I don't wanna print all of the pages, I'm just gonna print a range. So this is like, if I wanna print pages one to two, and then I wanna print two-sided. The two-sided is the duplex function, and I'm going to print two-sided on the, I think the long edge. You might have to play with that two-sided feature if you're gonna be printing on two sides, but it's gonna end up saving you paper. So I'm gonna print two pages on duplex, so it's actually only gonna be on one page because this is a duplex printer. It'll print, then it'll suck the paper back in, and then it'll print again on the other side. Saving paper for like college students or high school students or, or homeschool moms printing for their kids. So if you wanna save paper, you're gonna to wanna to play with that double-sided duplex printing. If your model number has a D in it somewhere, it's probably a duplex printer. Okay, it took about 15 seconds, but it printed my paper, and as you can see, it is indeed dual-sided. 
saving us paper. I have a link to the app in the description just for your convenience. If you're on mobile, you can just extend the description, click on that, it should take you right to the app. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.